Hi guys, welcome back to the Java class. In today's session, you will learn a very important keyword that is a final keywords. So what is it? Final keywords has three different uses. The first one is it is used to make naming constant. Second one, it is used to prevent method overriding. And the last one is it is used to prevent inheritance. So let us learn one by one what is the use of final keyword. Let us see what is the meaning of it making naming constant. Its mean is whenever you will define some variable as final, you will not be able to change the value of it. For example, you have defined a variable max value, which is the final, that is the final value. Its value is 100. So you will not be able to change this value in the future. For example, you would like to update this value by 150. So you will not be able to change. Compiler will complain here. The final field final use dot max value cannot be assigned right so you will not be able to change its value so this is the first use of the final second use is prevents method overriding so how this final keyword help us to prevent the method overriding let me just create a class here that is a vehicle class right v e h i c l e this is a vehicle class Inside it, we have a method that is a run method, right? Now, I will create one more class that is a class car that is the subclass of vehicle, right? Oh my God, what is it? Let me just fix it. I will remove this part. So, it is a subclass of vehicle, right? And I will just add the method same run right so that is the overridden method right i will write the override you can see the super class has the same method that is run and the subclass has the same method that is run this concept is not known as method overriding in java right but if you will define some method as final inside the super class you will not be able to override in their subclasses you can see now the compiler is complaining and what it is showing it is showing cannot override the final method from the vehicle so what is the meaning of it its mean is whenever you will define some method as final in the super class you will not be able to override that method in their subclasses it means if you would like to prevent if you would like to prevent method overriding you can define that method as final so this is the second use of final keyword. Let us come to the third use, prevent inheritance. What is the meaning of it? Prevent inheritance means if you will, if you will define a class as final. For example, you have defined this vehicle class as a final class, right? So here you are creating or you are trying to create the subclass of it, and the compiler is complaining here. What is the complaint here? That type car cannot subclass the final class vehicle what is the meaning of it means vehicle class cannot be used to make further subclasses so this is the third important use of final keyword it means you will if you will define some classes final you will not be able to create the subclass of it so these are the three important use of final keyword again i am just summarizing it making naming constant it means once you define the variable as final you will not be able to update its value second is it prevents method overriding it means if you want means your subclass will not override the method which is present inside the super class so you can define that method as final in the super class so your subclass will not be able to override it Next is prevent inheritance. If you want uh, a class will not be used as a parent class or that, that that class cannot be used to create further subclasses. You can you can create that class as a final class. So final class cannot be inherited. So these are the three and important uses of the final keyword. I hope you understand this part. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye bye for now. The next video will come with the new topic. All the best. Bye bye. Good night.